So we're going to talk just a moment about 3D. So in 3D, you would do a T for top. If you want to draw on the top plane, I'll switch back to X and Y. F for front to do something on the front plane, or S for side if you want to do something on the side plane. Then if you want to cycle between them, you can do E, E for cycle. That's in your AccuDraw shortcut list. So that just cycles between them. What I want to do is draw a rectangle from this corner, and I'm going to go 0.5 along this face, go down 0.5, and then I'm going to do a, an O. I'm going to go up 0.5 to the left 0.5 and beta. And you'll see if I rotate that, that is right on the face of that plane. So AccuDraw is super useful in 2D, but in 3D, it makes a huge, huge difference. So it, it just makes life so much easier. You can draw on any plane you want just by using, again, you would set your origin wherever you want the origin to be, and then top, front, side, or cycle. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.